Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to the Simpsons Hit and Run playthrough. Episode 10 is now upon us. This is also the first episode in level 4, which is going to be Marge's level. We're back here at Homer's area of Springfield. I wonder if it's going to change though. I'm not entirely sure, but if you guys caught the last episode, we found Bart. He was on a boat down by the docks and he was, he was abducted by aliens and now he's not really speaking all that well. He keeps mentioning sedans. That's all we really know so far. Let's go ahead and talk to Bart here. Bart, what's causing your ooga booga talk? My special little guy's noogle has turned to goo goo. The whole town's gone nuts. Security cameras, mysterious vans, crop circles. There's got to be a connection. Maybe the police know something. I highly doubt the Springfield police know anything, but we're going to go ahead and try and find Chief Wiggum and collect donuts for him before time Our runs out. <laughs> of course we do. Now, you guys probably can't... Oh, there's no television gagging? Oh, wait, let's check this out. So there can be a gag in here? Aw, uh, no gags on the Marge level? That's a shame. I like this because uh, it shows the inside of the Simpsons' house, but if you look out the, the kitchen window there, it's more nighttime now as compared to, like, daytime when we were running around this Homer. So is it going to be, oh yeah, all right, nighttime Springfield, I'm a big fan of this, day-night cycle, oh, and all the lights are going to be on, that's fantastic, there's a cop car right there. Now, just a question, because I'm not entirely, no, I don't want to fall out, oh gosh, look at Marge run, why did she run with her arms out? <laughs> she looks so goofy. And mission failed. Good, good, wonderful. <laughs> Mission failed already. I didn't know it was gonna start. Do I have to get my vehicle right now? I guess I do. I'm, it's gonna bother me every time I run as her. All right, let's go. Excuse me, pardon me. God, follow the police officer. And you know, I don't want to smash into you, but I really need to turn right there. All right, I really did. So I'm noticing some different vehicles right here off the bat. Now keep in mind, like stuff we do here in the Marge missions, I barely remember any of this, if if at all because I uh, rarely would I actually get this far in the game before like starting over or something like that, you know, or... Oh, we're right here. Oh yeah, I guess this is Lard Lads, there it is. All right, well I wanted to check if since it's now nighttime, I guess the way we can do this is to run up to the Quickie Mart since we're no longer on a timer. Um, wait a minute, how far away would the Quickie Mart be? It's like right over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right over here. I, I thought, as soon as I saw the Springfield gasoline, I was like, wait a minute, are we even close to the Quickie Mart? I'm wondering if, uh, like, everything's reset in terms of, like, coins and stuff like that. Because that may very well be the case. And if so, I know where a lot of coins can be found on this, uh, on this area. So, that'd be pretty good. Especially considering we don't really have a lot of coins whatsoever. I mean, I can always just grind races, like, off camera. I typically don't like to show the races. Because it's like, I've already showed you those ones before. Like, I'll show you the first time. But we don't need to be, you know, showing you the same one over and over and over and over and or anything like that. But it's kind of cool to be back here in this area. I'm noticing some cars are different. There we go. We've got the Mr. Plow jacket. You can jump up here, get on top of Lard Lad. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you, I remember correctly, you can get all the way up here. That's freaking cool. And it looks like if you look over there on top of the Quickie Mart, some of the coins have been reset as well, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and talk to Chief Wiggum here. Chief Wiggum, I need you to find out what happened to Bart. Could you show me where the crop circle is? There's got to be a clue to curing Bart. Ah, that's cute. And I'd love to help, but I got sugar withdrawal real bad. The donut store is closed, and I got a monkey on my back screaming for Crawler. Oh, oh, he's screaming. <laughs> Find the donut truck and collect the donuts. Donuts are delicious. This is making me hungry. All right. Backing up through a tree. Where are you, donut trucks? We see a smash. That was the last vehicle we just unlocked uh, at the end of uh, Lisa's... Uh, missions. All right, go ahead and drop your donut. There you go. This is a really good vehicle, the Canyon Arrow, I think, because it's got... I'd have to actually look at the stats, because I don't know for sure, but looking at the size of it, I feel as though it's tougher than your average car. And it also has, like, two and a half speed or something like that. Like, it's actually pretty quick. It's got a lot of get up and go. But I'm wondering if Mr. Burns has anything to do with this particular, um... This particular mission with Bart and stuff like that, because we are seeing a lot through uh, Springfield right now, a bunch of the nuclear uh, nuclear trucks where they're kind of just like carrying, oh, two of them dropped right there, where they're carrying like nuclear uh, drums and stuff like that. That's something, right, like that truck right back there. 
so exactly what I'm talking about. It may just be a different vehicle. It probably is just a different vehicle, but whatever. You know, it's worth pointing out, I think. All right, so we're going to catch him on the other side here, although I'm going a little bit too fast. So hold on, I'm slowing down. All right, well, now you're going too fast for me, buddy. Come on. You're not going to hit the big jump there on top of the gas station. Why not? <laughs> Wait, is there no way driving it? Somebody go back and pause the video. I'm not going to edit that in or anything like that. Ugh, I'll probably forget to, but I don't think there's anybody actually driving that. What's cool about YouTube? Uh, I, I didn't think it was like that big of a feature at all. We need to get three more here in 30 seconds. I didn't think it was that big of a feature initially. Mr. Burns, his house is open. That was something that wasn't there before. The gate to his, like to the front of his house anyway is now open. I keep being off topic here. Uh, Mr. Burns, Mr. Burns, uh, donuts and notes. Oh, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> that's how I remember things. Come on, drop something, you jerk. Drop something, you jerk. Oh, that's, there we go. Oh, that was pretty close. So with YouTube, I didn't think it was that big of a deal when they added like the, you can slow thing like 75% speed, 25% speed, 50% speed. But if there's something I really want to see, like if it's a movie or if I want to freeze frame, I don't want to download the video and do editing and all that stuff. I just watch a video at 25% speed and then you're good. What is this? This wasn't open before, was it? This is by Krusty's house or it is Krusty's house or something like that, right? Well, I only said because I remember Krusty being there. There's a pool. Hold on. We got to go. No, I just realized we're on a timer. <laughs> Did not notice that entire time we were on a timer. I thought it was like one of the many missions in this game where you complete it and it's like, all right, drive back. Guess not. I'll catch you guys when we're caught back up again. All right, so we just got the 10th one here. The rocket car is not here. So there's like a secret car in every single level. So I wonder what the new secret car is gonna be. And I wonder where it could be. Because so I've noticed so far, they're actually uh, you know, opening up locations that weren't accessible when we were initially here with Homer. I think it's kind of cool. There's like a great charm to it. I, I can see why maybe people went like uh, seeing the same level reused. But I think it's kind of neat. Like, we were here as Homer when the game was fresh, the game was new. We didn't know where we were going, didn't know what was going on, you know. And now here we are back again. Things are a bit different. We're later on in the game. We got different vehicles. We're playing as Marge. We're more experienced. I think it's kind of cool. I was messing around with this as I was driving over there. I think I may start using the handbrake a little bit more to take turns and stuff like that. Because it just seems to work a little bit better for me. But let's go ahead and talk to uh, Chief Wiggum here. Wait, what's the gag? Is there a new gag? New deep fried salad. <laughs> Before, it was like, try our popcorn shrimpy things or whatever it was back on Homer's missions. Is there something back here? I don't know. Thought that was going to be something neat. Boy, for a busybody housewife, you sure get results. That crop circle's at Cletus's shack. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a truck full of donuts to eat. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of coffee. <laughs> I freaking love him. I love him. I'm telling you, though, coffee and donuts sound delicious right now. I may have to run to the store after this. That sounds really, really good. <laughs> I'm getting pretty hungry here. It is late night, so... I I, I mean, that's what's kind of fun on yours last ways. I don't, like, try and hide. Like, oh, yeah, it's this time, it's that time. I record these, I, a new episode every day, pretty much. And just to prove it, in the comments of my last episode, some somebody asked me to do this. This is for you, buddy. What's wrong with you, Mac? <laughs> He's like, Nero, can you kick people? I used to kick people all the time. I'd love to see that. Here you go. Just, uh, hold on, I got, got kicked the cow twins here. Uh, where are you going? Uh, there we go. Now they're all nice and kicked. But uh, it is 10.22 p.m. Eastern um, on May 22nd as I'm recording this. Uh, I ate earlier. Um, uh, two or three-ish. So it's been a while. I'm not exactly hungry for a meal or anything. I'm telling you, freaking... Donuts and coffee? That sounds delicious. We don't have anything like that around here, though. I'd have to go to, like, Walmart and, like, just get, like, whatever donuts they have there. But I may end up doing that because that sounds delicious right now. <laughs> sounds absolutely delicious. But tomorrow is going to be the, uh... Ooh. Tomorrow's going to be the uh, Q&A for uh, Sledgehammer Games God World War II. So that's going to be interesting as well. Let's talk to Comic Book Guy here and see what's going on. Because I know where Cleese's shack is. It's not too far from here. That's where the... Uh, tobacco field is right before the power plant. So let's talk to him, get our new car. It's going to be the Gremlin, which is going to be cool. Mr. Guy, 
What are you doing here? Well, I've been trying to convince Agnes to come make fun of school children, but she refuses to go out with me. That son of hers keeps intercepting every gift I send her and hides them at his workplace. He's a jerk and a fool. Why not just go get them back? I would, but... Well, I'm not a terribly mobile person. There I said it. Oh, I know. It's not easy being husky. Tell you what, I'll take care of this for you if you help me take care of some things. By the moons of Xanthor, it is a pact. The bond is made. The agreement is sacred under the vows of the knights who say... Okay, okay, I get it. Sheesh. <laughs> I like him. Don't cut him off. All right, so go to the school and collect all the intercepted gifts. Don't let time run out. All right, are we going into the school? Are we going on top of the school? Springfield Cemetery. Super spoopy. Super spoopy. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not, I'm not getting out of the way for you. You can get out of the way for me. Why are we going that way for the school? I guess it is that way, isn't it? I'm telling you guys. My navigation in this game. And I just don't look at the map as much as I should. I think it's because... Wow. I, I think it's because when I, uh, when I play this game, to me it's like... Being really immersed within Springfield, being immersed within the Simpsons world, you know, and let's take it. Oh, I wanted to take a stop there. There's another shortcut we could have taken there um, that takes us past the uh, the old lemon tree, but wasn't meant to be. But yeah, I, I just get like immersed within this world. I freaking love it so much. And so I don't like look at the map probably as much as I should when it comes to navigation. I, I like to try and like get good enough to be like, oh, school, let's go this way. But I mean, eventually it would have taken me to this school, but it would have taken me a very long time. So, this is definitely a bit faster, which is why the map is good. Alright, so we're here. Oh, they're all over. Alright, cool. So, we're going to grab this. Uh, there's a couple things on top of the roof. I do know how to get on top of there. Are there going to be any things inside of it? Are they all going to be out back? It looks like it. I bet the rest are on top of the roof. It wouldn't make sense for them to actually take us inside. So, is comic book guy courting uh, Skinner's mom, Agnes? I don't remember that episode. Usually I do. I've, I think I've I think I've gotten most references in this game so far, but that is one that I just do. That, that one went over my head. I love how he's giving her heart-shaped underwear. That's wonderful. All right, B. I ain't got time for you. I do have time for these coins. And jump. And this. And last one is hopefully at the edge of this roof. Yeah. All right. Don't get caught by that thing. That's one thing I know for sure. There we go. There we go. Return the comic book guy. But there's coins up here. We should be able to return to him fast enough, right? I got time to grab these coins. Yes. Oh, I... All right. Well, that kicks me off. Didn't take me off the route, but took me out of my way. You know what? Screw it. I'll remember to come back. Although, I'm not sure if I can get those coins that I knocked up on the roof. I don't think I can. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, great. The episode where Marge became a cop was a pretty good one. I think that's actually uh, a skin in this game, actually. I think it is. Don't remember. I'm almost 100 percent sure though. Is he, like, what else would you make Marge, like skin-wise, you know? You All right, how far? How far? Oh, come on, excuse me, pardon me. 25 seconds to get the to get the comic book guy. We're good. I think we're good. I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm going. 13 seconds. He was outside of Skinner's house, which I. Honestly, don't even know where that is. Oh, goodness. You're all the way this way. All the way this way. Be around the corner. Be right around the corner here. No, you're right there. One second. Come on. It's right there. All right. So I have all the stuff. Now we're heading back to <laughs> heading back to Seymour's house. So I guess it's uh, right around the corner there from Evergreen Terrace. I did not realize that. I, I didn't get a good look at it because I was just trying to get there in time. And then we failed, of course, right before I could actually get to the building. But uh, I know what it looks like from the show, so we'll see if it actually is their house or if they just had him standing next to like a like a random blue house or something like that. We'll see. But see, this is what I'm talking about right here with the handbrake. If I take the handbrake right there, it instead of pressing like um, if you're using a 360 pad, there's my hit and run. If you're using a 360 pad, instead of like hitting like left trigger, hit B to do the handbrake, and you can typically take turns a little bit easier. He got me. He got me. I was able to get a good amount of coins though while I was actually there though, so that worked out. But yeah, I might use the handbrake a little bit more. That's definitely their house, by the way, right there, I think. For sure. All right, let's go ahead and talk to them. They're right next to the cemetery, apparently. But then again, this game isn't exactly accurate to Springfield. But then again, the layout of Springfield changes based off the episode, pretty much. Well, that's done like laundry. Thank you very much. Now I can see my beloved's sneer again. Here's my number. 
Give me a call if you want to hear my theories on why Krusty has jumped the shark. Good day. All right. Both mission complete, and now, congratulations! You've unlocked comic book guy's Kremlin. Go to the phone booth to use it. Awesome! Anything that gives me more comic book guy in my life is, uh... That's a win, right? That's a win. There's a race right there. Should we do the race while we're here? Should we do the race while we're here? I'm not in a super hurry to like, continue on with story and stuff like that. So let's grab our new Kremlin. Let's do this race. Have comic book guy snarking ass. It's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be huge. There he is. So two and a half speed, two acceleration, four handling. Compare that to, <laughs> compare that to the family sedan. Compare that to the Electorus. Even pretty good. Sexy mommy needs a ride. Oh my I god. You if you answer me these questions three. Question the first. No, never mind. Just wait here. <laughs> I was hoping you was gonna have questions. I forgot about that sexy mommy needs a ride thing. Ah. This burns into my memory. Like hearing that hearing these voice lines again. Little Ralphie Wiggum, how are you? Candy makes me happy, then tired. So, what are you doing here? Two ugly monsters named Patty and Soma say you have to race. Yeah. Well, they're technically Marge's sisters, but whatever. Six, twelve. Look at that car! Two. What in the heck? What is that ghost car? I don't even know what reference that to if that is a reference, I don't I assume it is. I don't know what that is referencing. If I had to guess, a Professor Frink car, right? Which some of you said that you always thought it was Professor Frank, to which I say tisk tisk. Call yourself Simpsons fans. I'm just gonna say here for the rest of the episode. <laughs> this guy's actually really, really fast. I want oh, he smashed into stuff. Uh, Oh, look at you. I could have taken a shortcut into the back of the school there, but that wouldn't have helped me out all that much. I don't think. Ah, going too fast. Going way too fast. This is a straight up 1v1? Since when since are we just 1v1? I, I, we are not winning, Marge. What game are you playing? Oh, my goodness. This is not going well. I'm having a lot of trouble this episode, for sure. Just, like, getting to where I want to go and stuff. Like... I'm failing missions. I I think I've talked about it so far, but uh, the game seems to be getting like exponentially more difficult as the levels go on, which is actually good. Uh, the, the the levels are more tightly tuned. I don't think we're gonna be able to win this race, but at least we saw it. At least we saw it, and it looks like the end. Just judging from where he was, looks like the end of the race is going to be uh, like at the end of the tunnel there, the Stonecutters tunnel. So we're gonna have to hit a couple of shortcuts here. Let's see. Take but this one. Can I take the shortcut? Can I take the big fire truck shortcut? Is that is that area of the map actually unlocked? If it is, I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna do pretty well here. And there we go. Getting getting some air here. Getting a slight lead. This guy is very very fast, like ridiculously fast. I'm not so sure I can beat him honestly. Although he's a little bit behind me right now. Oh, look at him going through shortcuts. What a cheater. I didn't even know that was a shortcut. All right. Take it slow. Take it slow. And come on. There we go. Smashing things. But we're still slightly in the lead. We have this. Then we have this other shortcut up ahead. Which is going to be our... No! You can't take the shortcut too! Oh my goodness. This guy's a cheater, man. Oh, but he's spinning out. He went a little bit too fast or something. And I slowed down enough to not hit stuff there because that would slow me down more than actually slowing down. And, okay, I'm bumping in the walls. Okay, trying to get straight. Stay straight. There we go. Come on. Finish line. He's way behind. I was just looking at Mark, Marjorie. You're finally turning your life around. <laughs> I, I love how they act like they have, like, figured out working at the DMV, chain smoking all the time. One of them celibate. Uh, one of them... You are a classic just can't get anyone to ever date them. I guess they're funny characters, but they do they do what they're designed to do well, which is make you hate them. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that. Oh no! I, I let off the gas like almost entirely there as I was going through. Can I go into Homer's office? Just for the sake of this, let's test this out here. If I go into Homer's office as Marge, does anything interesting happen? <laughs> Alright, same gag. All right. 
So nothing different really seems to happen. I just wanted one of those things I think that was like worth checking out, you know. Full impulse power. Okay, Marge, Hold on. Let's go ahead and grab this. Because I was just thinking, I was about to verbalize it, but then I saw the machine there. If we're heading to Cletus's uh, shack here, let's just, let's just grab all the coins we can. Uh, if we're heading to Cletus's shack here, then I wonder if Old Gil is going to be right next to Cletus's, like he was previously. And I would hit that. I was looking at the field right here in front of me. Yeah, there is a crop circle. There's the Bart crop circle right there. Awesome. We still need to talk to Cleus, I think, but at least we know at least we know like that it's right there and we have to go anywhere else. And I would smash into that. I'm not even gonna try hitting that jump. There's no way we're gonna make it. There's absolutely no way. I wouldn't have enough speed. Let's repair the vehicle ever so gently by going through this. <laughs> as I continue to smash into things, which is almost defeating the entire purpose, but whatever. It's fine. Things are okay. Shut up. Look out, commoner. You call him a commoner. Talk to Cletus. I would like to talk to Cletus, but I think talking to old Gil here is going to be more fun. The wolf is at old Gil's door. Krusty's limo. Oh. Two NAS speed, two acceleration. So it's going to be tough and relatively fast. All right. Then we got the curator. What is the curator from? Holy mother of stats. Two and a half speed, three acceleration, two and a half toughness, and nearly five handling? I have enough to buy it, so I'm going to. Let's get, I need to compare that to some other cars though. So, okay, let's compare it to Lisa's car. Lisa's car is two and a half, three, and almost five. So actually, is it is it similar to that then? Where is it? Two and a half, three, and then almost five, then two and a half toughness. All right, so it's basically the same stat-wise as the Malibu Stacy car, but it's more tough. So it's like, is that the best car so far? I think that's the best car that we have, like, just overall. That's really cool. Let's take her for a quick spin here. Then we'll talk to Cletus. Oh, yeah. It, I know it's different when you're watching uh, as compared to actually holding the controller and stuff. You would. You would. It's different, you know, you, you guys don't get like the same feel, but man, I'm telling you, the, this thing feels freaking, it just feels good. And it looks good as well, it's a neat looking car. Like if this were like a Forza game, I would like the way this car would look, if I could change the paint job maybe. Let's talk to Cletus here, and then I think we're end off the episode after talking to him maybe, we'll see. Excuse me? I don't care if you is from New York. You ain't taking pictures of our decrapitude for no magazine, no way. No, Cletus, it's me, Marge. 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 He didn't answer any questions. He didn't like follow the story at all or continue the story. Follow Cletus and collect what falls from his truck. All right, we'll do that. Oh, is he, did he like go crazy and like trying to drive away from me? Is that what's happening here? Wow, he dropped the thing already. This car's got such fast speed and good handling that I think this is going to be a really easy mission. Take it slow. All right. Because he's dropping stuff. I'm not... I'm not knocking it like, away from him. You would, jerk! Although, me and the hiccups here, he isn't dropping anything. There we go. Goodness, I was waiting. But then again, this isn't so much a time trial as much as it is like an endurance test. Like, just stay within his range, wait for him to drop something, and get whatever it is he drops. I like this car a lot, man. The handling and the speed here, oh goodness, it's so good. I guess it's technically just a Malibu Stacy car, but like, I'm getting... It seems better here as compared to like the Lisa level. I don't know. I think it's because I'm just bad at the Lisa level with how tight everything is most of the time. Whereas this place... Look at you, Cleus. You're the one smashing into stuff, not me. Uh, I've driven around this place so much because it's the first mission. And like most games, you've seen the first level way more than you've seen the end levels. And so, uh, I still have an easier time driving through here, I think. You dropped a bunch of sticks or something, that looked like. Now, here, here's what I'm talking about with the handbrake. Ah, I didn't take it that well right there. I'm still trying to learn it. But you hit the handbrake as you're turning and then let off the gas. It seems like you take turns really well. I'm trying to get a good example here, but we keep running into stupid stuff like that. All right, like right here. You take the, take it like that. It just kind of lets you take a sharper turn as compared to like failing it. All right, it's not. I gotta catch up. Gotta catch up. Gotta catch up. 
I love how, how fast this thing is with the acceleration and whatnot. All right, here's maybe a good time to turn. Oh, come on. I'm so bad at this. I do it so well when I'm off camera redoing a mission. But as soon as it's like, all right, now that we're, you know, uh, showing you guys here, it here in, the, in the series, I can't do it as well. Ah, that one wasn't good because I didn't lay off the gas. Right there was a decent one. He's basically using it to uh, let you take turns and not uh, take them so wide. It allows you to take the turns a little bit sharper. Oh, you would drop it right there, buddy. You would drop it right freaking there. And then there would be two cars in the way. There we go. Hey, it just kicks us out here at the gas station. I guess it's designed that way. Yeah, that makes sense. So they drop at set locations. Makes sense. All right. Let's talk to Cletus here. You've got to help me. I have to find out what happened to my baby boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you was a city slicker. But I ain't telling you nothing less than you help us with the harvest. Harvest? If I'm going to be doing yard work, I better change or my next mission will be to get mud stains out of green rayon. Aww. Aww. Don't get your clothes dirty. Purchase Marge's inmate. Aw, they have her jail one in there uh, at the Quickie Mart, Bart's room, or Springfield Elementary School for 300 coins. So this is the level where you can actually go into Bart's room. I remember that. I talked about it like one of the first episodes, I think. But uh, this is where we can actually go into Bart's room. I, so we're, I think we're going to wait to go into Bart's room to like when the... Cause I assume the story is going to have us go in there eventually. But uh, yeah, I think it's, yes! I, I want to go in there because I think it's cool to explore like, you know, the actual house of the Simpsons. And that's the other room we can go into. Uh, previously, it was only the um, the, the living room. So that's going to be pretty cool. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Simpsons Hit Run playthrough. Going up a little bit earlier than usual, uh, which is still very late, but <laughs> still whatever. Wait a minute. How do I get up there? Was I not, was I not already up there earlier? I don't know. Regardless, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.